Hey, my name is Cleo. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title of today's video, it's a super exciting one. I'm going to be trying on pieces from Kai, which is Kylie Jenner's collection. I've honestly been going back to her website and looking at all her pieces ever since it dropped like a year ago, but I finally took the plunge to buy a bunch of stuff from almost every collection so I can try it on for you guys and let you know what I think about them. I'm super, super excited, so let's get into it. The first thing is from her first collection, which is the faux leather one. I got this, which is the black faux leather mini skirt. On first feel is like, this is pretty good quality, like pretty thick. And like, I don't even hear it. I'm like, it sounds thick. And then like it has this interesting like height detail in the back. And yeah, I'm super excited to try this one on. It also comes in white, but I got the one in black and there's a little zipper in the front which does work. And this one was actually $98 USD. But let me try it out for you. I honestly don't own anything like it. It felt super nice to put on, like this. This, I feel like really just sucked me in when I was zipping it up. But this is what this looks like. And this is what the back looks like. Yeah, I think this is super cute, honestly. But I feel like this would be a very cute, like easy going out dress to be honest. The second thing that I got is honestly the thing that I'm most excited about, which is from her second collection, which is the puffers and base layers one. I've been looking for a cute puffer like this forever, especially because I live in New York and it does get pretty cold in the winter. I'm just gonna show you. I'm like super excited about it. I got this one, which is the black puffer. I honestly wanted the one in stone. Um, obviously I'll put a picture here, but I wanted the one in stone, but it's been sold out forever. Like when the first drop came, like last Last year I missed it and it sold out and it sold out again this year unfortunately but let me try to show you this is the standard puffer jacket and it was hundred and twenty eight dollars which honestly if you know puffers is a very good deal for a warm puffy jacket it's so cute yeah I wanted the stone one but I got the one in black instead because it was sold out but I honestly think black is you know even more versatile and I'll be able to wear it even more often so yeah I'll try it on for you oh my gosh <laughs> I am sweating I put my hair up to kind of show how puffy it is and oh my gosh it is so freaking puffy but I'm honestly sweating so plus one on the warmness let me try to put the hood on the hood is so big i feel like this will definitely keep me warm in the winter but i kind of love how big the hood is because it feels kind of more cozy and stuff holy moly i'm sweating yeah it's like velcro but also like a zipper and pockets of course but holy moly i really like this one i love how cropped it is and also how warm it is so also over here i think the hood is removable which is really nice if you don't want a hood situation so it's like really versatile it's basically like two jackets in one so you can just keep it with no hood but let me show you what it looks like zipped off and this is what it looks like on without the hood it's way more manageable in my opinion because the hood was like enveloping me but still super cute and super warm this third thing that I got was from her third collection, which is her sweats and tees collection. Honestly, this reminded me a little bit of the hoodie that I tried on during my Skims try on haul, but I got the fleece oversized hoodie and I got it in this gray color. Honestly, it feels very comfy and just from like feeling the hood i feel like the hood is really nice and big and oversized and this feels like a hoodie that hoodies i'm like kind of excited i feel like this is gonna be super comfy like a big kangaroo pocket in the front but yes this is the third thing so this is the fleece oversized hoodie and this was 68 dollars usd honestly i love it it's as they say oversized and i feel like this would be a great lounging hoodie or a great like airport outfit super comfy and then this is what the hood looks like and the hood is very spacious but yeah super comfy and cozy and i feel like this is more my speed <laughs> i love wearing oversized things so this 
is that. And the fourth thing that I got, as you could guess, is from her fourth collection, which is the day to night one, which is like kind of the suede stretchy one. I got this suede stretch maxi dress in this cream color. This wasn't the silhouette that I wanted the most, but they were sold out of a lot of things, honestly. And this one has like a off the shoulder situation and the other sleeve is like a little quarter sleeve. I'm not quite sure how this one is gonna look on me, but I will say it feels insane. It feels so freaking soft and comfortable. Like, I wish I could describe it. I'm like, <gasps> Dude, I've never felt anything this soft before, to, to be honest. But yeah, I'm super excited about this one. And this one is $98 USD. Someone send help. I'm like, is it like this? I really have no clue. I'm just guessing. It's a little DIY situation. Oh, maybe it's like this. Is it like this? Okay, this looks a little bit better, no? So this is this dress. Hopefully I did this section right. I literally have no clue. But this is what that looks like. And it's, again, insanely comfortable. This fabric is so soft. But just one tad to, like, you can see all the lines of everything. And so I think it's a little bit harder to wear, but still very cute. And this is what the back of it looks like. I really like kind of how this back part swoops. And this next piece is also from the Day to Night collection, which is this sleek knotted top. It has this knot here and it's in this black fabric. It's not the same fabric as like the stretchy suede, but it's still stretchy. Yeah, I feel like this would actually be really cute. And this top was $66 USD. I really like the knot detail here. I feel like it adds something different to like a regular black top. And I also love like more high necked tops these days. I don't know, just a slightly different silhouette than like a normal tank. But this is what it looks like. I actually really like it. I love like this little tie thing and this is what it looks like in the back and this next thing is from technically from her sixth collection which is the poplin one this one's like super cute like soft girl era i loved all of the marketing for it because it was just honestly so cute and i got this poplin blue top am i even sh am i showing it wrong <laughs> oh my gosh i'm showing it upside down this is the poplin top in blue, which was $48 USD. And the first thing I noticed is like, it is super lightweight and like the fabric feels very breathable. So like super good with the summertime, honestly. And it is like super stretchy. So I feel like it would be really comfy, but yeah, it's so light. So I feel like this would be really nice to wear. I think it's really super cute. I was an idiot. And at first when I put it on, I put it on upside down because the zipper thing confused me, but you could zip this up and down depending on like what you want to do with it but yeah i think this is super cute very lightweight and has a little stretching in the back to make it easier to put on if you're not an idiot like me <laughs> but yes this is what that top looks like and this next dress is from her later collection with Ionis. I hope I'm saying that right. I probably am not, but I got this sleek tank stretch mini dress in the pink. I will admit <laughs> I originally wanted the black one because I'm not really a pink girl, but it was all sold out. So I got this one instead. And when I took it out of the bag, I was like, whoa, this is way more pink in person than I was expecting. But honestly, the print is super cute and the material, again, feels super comfy. This dress was $88 US and I'm like excited to try this one on because honestly, it's like very outside my comfort zone and my style. So I'm excited to see <laughs> how it looks. It was a little bit of a struggle to put on, to be honest, because it's actually very freaking tight, but I really like kind of the neckline, but I don't know. It's definitely unique and unlike anything that I own. And I think the print is very pretty. This is what the print looks like up close. This next thing is from her Golden Hour collection. It's just this super simple like boat neck black top and it has little thumb holes at the end. Honestly, this was very reminiscent of Skims when I tried on the Skims stuff just cause it's like that simple like sleek long sleeve look. I'm excited to try this one on. Yeah, that's just that. This one was $58. And this is the regular boat neck long sleeve. Yeah, I feel like this is very reminiscent of the Skims top. That was like super popular. I'm obsessed with these thumb holes. I feel like thumb holes always just make everything look a little more athletic and cute. And yeah, this is extremely form-fitting and really snatches you in. It was a little bit of a struggle to get on, to be honest, because it was so tight. But once it is on, super cute. I feel like, yeah, I could just wear it like this with like a pair of jeans and this could be an outfit. I don't know, what do you guys think? I, I actually kind of really like it. 
I think it's super cute. And this next thing is the most expensive thing that I bought, which was $164. It was this long sleeve ruched green dress from her Atalin collection. Again, don't come at me if I'm mispronouncing it. But yes, this is the long sleeve ruched dress in this green color. Again, not my usual, but the other colors were sold out. But I'm intrigued to try this one on, especially because it's literally more expensive than the puffer, which is surprising to me because I would think the puffer would be the most expensive thing on her website. But yes, this dress, which I will try on for you. And this is the lime green ruched dress. Again, I don't think this color is my color. I look a little, I don't know, but boy is it ruched. It is literally, there's ruching everywhere on the dress, which could be a good thing because you can really adjust it to fit what you want. Like I could pull this down longer for sure, but this is that. With that, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful for anyone that was planning on buying some of her pieces. Definitely let me know which piece or collection was your favorite. But with that, thank you so much for watching and please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will catch you for the next one.